let me kick it off, I guess. Dustin Jacoby versus Maxim Grisham. I'm a yeah. huge fan of Maxim Grisham. He's kind of like in that Jiri conversation. Jiri Prochachna. Exactly. He's 36 years old. Yeah, like he's an older guy coming to the UFC now, later in his career, but is still like a fucking beast. Yeah, I mean, he was fighting the PFL, and he's fought all over the place, yeah. honestly. M1. Mm-hmm. He's got a 31, 8, and 2 record, like extensive. Yeah. But only one in one UFC record. So, you know what I mean? He's, he's 36 years old. Uh, he is yeah. undefeated in his last 10 fights at 205 and has a record of 21, 1, and 2 at light heavyweight. Mm-hmm. He's fighting D- Dustin Jacoby, who's 13 and 5 record, 1 and 2 in the UFC. Has two fights for the UFC back in 2012, and he lost them both. And then he got called up back in 2020. Got booked another two fights, one on the Contender Series. He won there, and then he had one more fight. So now he's riding a two-fight winning streak. Yeah, he won his fight with uh, in his UFC debut, not his Contender Series fight. Um, he had landed some nasty leg kicks. He has uh, he has a really big um, kickboxing background. Oh, cool. Oh, he's got um, – we got a sure, record on that? Yeah, he's. I don't have his kickboxing record on hand right now. It's tough to find that that stuff. But yeah, exactly. Like, but this guy's fought Alex per, Alex Pereira before. And um, if you guys aren't familiar, Alex Pereira is the guy that knocked out Israel Adesanya in kickboxing, one punch, left hook. Um, this guy also got um, a KO loss under uh, Alex Pereira on, under his belt. Um, He's fought King Mo in Bellator. He lost. Uh, it was more of like a ground and pound finish. Um, but then he went to and did a bunch of kickboxing fights and stuff since then. But now he's in the UFC. And um, he's got a 13-5 and five record. And he's fighting a, another seasoned vet in Maxim Grisham. Um, I think Grisham probably... Like what? What? What kind of style would you say Grishin is? Is he? Is he more ground fighting? Is he more? Um, I would say it. I'm ground... seeing a variety of ways he's finished fights. He's got nine KOs. He wins seventy percent by KO. You know, really? Oh no, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm looking at Jacoby. He's got um, Maxim Grisham has, yeah, same thing. Sixteen wins, fifty-two percent by KO. Six subs and nine decisions. Okay, yeah. So he, I would say, um, Maxim Grisham, Grisham, Maxim Grisham. That is a tough name to pronounce. Talk about <laughs> tongue twister. There's, I watch the announcers fuck that up six yeah. or seven times. Um, <laughs> if the fight goes a, a decent while, um, I would say he's definitely more of the savvy like vet when it comes to. Uh, I think he's more well rounded too. Yeah, like he's he's more well well rounded, but. I would give the edge to Jacoby on the feet, and I think that the fight's gonna pro- maybe like last like um, fight that happened last week with uh, the Lewis card. This guy, right. I, I could see some knockouts in the, on this card coming up. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna take uh, Jacoby TKO uh, early. Yeah, I like that. I think um, I'm gonna disagree. I'm gonna go Maxim Grisham. I just am a fan of his. Really tough call, though, like Dan said. If Grisham can make a solid weight cut, because he's usually sitting around 220 pounds, fighting at heavyweight sometimes. And I think if he can make... 228 is easy. Like, that that shouldn't be too tough. Yeah, exactly. So it's not, like, some crazy. I think he'll... And, like I said, he's a really amazing record at light heavyweight. He should only fight at 205. He's got a 21-1-2 record. So I'm going to go Maxim Grisham. Yeah, it's a tough fight because the guy is definitely more well-rounded, but I think yeah. there is going to be a discrepancy when the fight's standing on the feet, and Jacoby's probably going to try to keep it in uh, kickboxing distance. Mm-hmm. And he's had enough MMA fights under his belt by now that he should have improved ground game, um, be able to stuff takedowns if they are coming from Maxim Grisham. But I'm, I'm going to take... Uh, Gonna take just Dustin Jacoby in this one. Yeah, the fact that this is the first card, I mean the first fight on the card is pretty amazing. This this card is stacked. Yeah, I I, I like this fight card and I love the main event. 
even I and, can't wait to talk about that, yeah, but yeah, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get into that as we get into All that. right, so we're disagreeing on that one. Dan's going Jacoby, I'm going. Thank you.